Alrighty, so this next one, I, uh, well, let, let me play a little bit of it first before I tell you about the um, title that I came up with and things like that. Okay, so uh, I write a lot of music, I write a lot of stuff, I've written books, all that stuff, um, and writing music, uh, people always uh, students usually always ask me um, because adults are usually too um, usually too concerned with looking cool to ask questions about things that they don't understand. <laughs> um, just a weird thing uh, that I've kind of noticed. But um, students a lot, younger students, uh, ask me a lot of, when they find out that I write a lot of music they end up wondering so how do I write music like what what do I do do I just sit down with paper and pencil and start just writing stuff out uh, do I just play around on an instrument um, ukulele guitar piano bass uh, I've written on lots of instruments uh, or do I just think up lyrics and then write chords that go with it? Or do I come up with cool chords and come up with words that go with the chord? It's so many different ways. Uh, this one here, a lot of these ukulele things that I've been writing lately, um, a lot of them I just kind of sit down and go, okay, I'm going to write something in ukulele, and I kind of... And I go, oh, okay, I like that, yeah, da, da, whatever, uh, okay, yeah, I like that, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that, and I usually just jot it down, because I don't want to forget something, and then I go, okay, so what could I do with it, oh, okay, oh, I could do this, oh, and, and then, I, oh, and, and it sort of all, sort of starts to come together. This, I was just kind of humming, and came up with this neat little thing, and I was like, ooh, like, that sounds cool. Like, I better grab a, an instrument. Um, and I don't remember if I grabbed a guitar or if I actually grabbed ukulele. But uh, just wrote down the, the little melody that I had. So then I sat down with the ukulele and I thought, this would be really nice on a ukulele. So came up with it. Uh, and it's G, E minor for the most part. Uh, a minor, D, and then G. So I like that. Um, it's not the uh, sort of standard chord thing. Ukulele always tends to be like C, G, F, C. Um, it's a little different, but it's still some pretty basic chords, you know, the G, the A minor. Um, but the little melody that I liked was So I like that little melody. Uh. Yeah, that's what it is. Sorry, I could hear it in my head and I'm like, what is it? Because it's, it's buried a little bit in the chords. You know, so it's like a chord melody thing, so is obvious, but then the that's just a D, and that note is just part of the D chord. So, um, anyway, I liked that melody, came up with chords that went with it, and here we are. So, the name of it. I was like, okay, so this, it isn't a waltz, it's in 4-4 four, four time. One and two and three and four and. Uh, so it's not a waltz. Uh, it's not that calypso thing that I had written. Uh, it definitely doesn't sound like anything um, kind of Latin, um, like Hispanic kind of. It doesn't sound like uh, a tango or anything like that. 
what is it? I don't know. Like, what, what can I call it? Because I have the names of everything. Waltz number 8 million in, you know, F sharp major, whatever. So I was like, well, I want to kind of keep with something so it has some sort of a theme going on. I liked that idea. And I was like, it's just like a little piece, like a little musical thing. It's not even really like an etude. Uh, no, because it's actually, it's like a nice little song. It's just like a little, like a little piece of music. And I was like, it's just like a little piece, a thing. And I'm like, ooh, like a little piece, a little musical piece. So I quickly thought a lot of um, music stuff is, um, uses Italian words. Um, for like um, tempos, uh, allegro, whatever. Uh, I think that's Italian. Because there's also some um, other languages thrown in. Uh, it's kind of a mishmash. But a, a lot of music stuff is, uh, it has Italian words. So I was like, okay, Google. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, little piece in Italian and it came up as piccolo pezzo and I saw that and I was like oh I like that that sounds really cool piccolo pezzo it sounds like so super Italian I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right uh, but it's because I don't speak any Italian I don't think I'm at all Italian um, but I think it's Piccolo Pezzo, P-E-Z-Z-O. I don't think it's Pezzo, but I like Pezzo, it sounds more Italian. So Piccolo Pezzo, number one in G major. So now I'm wondering, all of these are really just little musical pieces. Like the waltzes are definitely waltzes, things like that. But even so, it's still a little musical piece. Because some classic waltzes were like seven, eight, nine minutes long. These are all just little musical pieces. So I'm wondering if I should rename them all Piccolo Pezzo number one, number two, number three, and just go like that. I don't know. But anyway, okay, so uh, I'll have this all typed out, of course. Uh, it's pretty simple. The rhythm of it, like I said, is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and there's a note that you just hold that note's just held one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that g is held sorry four and uh then the next line is exactly the same. Then the third line is a little bit different. Uh, and there was a, there's a couple of weird little chords in there. Um, it's unusual to have B minor and B major in the same song because uh, you have a key and it's certain notes and you have chords that go along with those certain notes. So in a certain key, you have certain chords that go in that key. So a major and a minor are two different chords. G major, G minor. Okay, they would, they're not in the same key. You cannot have G major and G minor in the same key just because the way the notes work out doesn't happen, okay? So to have the B minor and the B in this third line uh, is a little unusual, but one thing I like about writing anything um, is you can make up whatever you want. So uh, it's certainly not super unusual. Majors and minors getting kind of moved around and kind of um, played with a bit is um, certainly not uncommon but 
it's just uh, it is a little bit out of key so I thought that it was um, it sounds a little neat that third line I like that uh, so it starts with E minor now instead of G for this line and then C and I use this C because I thought that that sounded nicer so that's the 5, 4, 3, 3 so E minor D B minor the C again A minor uh, the B major So, uh, the B major, dun, dun, dun. then that fifth fret on that uh, highest string, then leads us back to the G, which the fourth line is the first line again. Uh, sorry. And then it does that last measure one more time with a uh, um, retard, a little slow down. So I'll do um, the last measure of the fourth line again. Okay, so the A minor. So that's the ending. Um, so, that's it. Uh, it's a nice little thing. Uh, piccolo pezzo. Little piece. In Italian. Uh, and another thing that we can talk about really quick with this is uh, the song form. Usually, uh, a song should have things that tie it all together. Okay? So... Um, usually there's like a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay, so uh, the beginning sort of sets things up. The middle does something a little interesting, something different. And then the ending sort of ties it back together again. So with this, um, the format, usually they use uh, letters for the different parts of a song. A, B, C. Okay, so maybe like uh, a verse would be A, and a chorus in a song would be B, and a bridge in a song would be C. So you might have A, B, A, B, C, and then A, B. Or, you know, C, and then B, B, two choruses at the end. Something. So anyway, this is the first line would be A. The second line is the same thing, A. The third line is different, that would be B. The fourth line is the same, so that's A again. And then the little ending, um, it's really, I wouldn't call it a separate part. It's really kind of like just a little tag at the end, a little added uh, bit to sort of really finish it. Um, it doesn't really change much. So the format of this is A, A, B, A. And it's a very simple format. Uh, it's a nice format. It's um, pleasant to listen to because you have the A, the A. You get used to hearing that little melody. Then the B is something different. It's like, ooh, interesting. And then the A, you're right back to the original melody. And it's like, ah, oh, right, okay. And it's nice. But um, just something to start thinking about. Uh, song forms, uh, the order that they go in and things like that. And again, the song form can be whatever you want. Uh, if you're writing a song because you can do whatever you feel like um, but certain forms like this A A B A um, is a very common form and it's 
uh, easy to listen to and it's easy to understand and it's just a very nice uh, form that people really get. There's nothing too complicated about it. But anyway, so there we are. Uh, hope you had fun.